guys and girls, this is Glenn here once again with another jump rope video. Today we've got something a bit more challenging and slightly different. We're going to be doing a follow along jump rope workout where you can go along with what I'm doing, try it out for yourself and see how you get on. I want to give a big uh, mention to Nimu. Forgive me if I've pronounced that wrong, but Nimu sent me a message quite recently, which was which was um, very much bang on with something I've been thinking about for quite some time, which was to do something that's a bit more interactive, something that you can follow along. You can kind of measure how you're getting along with it. So it's a great idea. Big thanks for that. We're gonna press forward with that now. Today's edition, we are gonna be looking at building the calves. I know a lot of people have um, problems building the calves because it's quite a stubborn muscle group but with skipping the calf is a very dominant muscle a muscle that's used quite a lot in the training in future videos we will be looking at different muscle groups the chest the back the quads but today we're looking at the calves so here's the sequence it's called the calf crush and you're gonna find out why we're gonna start with 10 boxer steps and then we're gonna go into 10 one leg single unders, five on each leg, and then we're gonna finish with 10 double unders. By the way, if you can't quite manage to chain those double unders together just yet and get multiple double unders in a row, um, what you can do instead is just go for singles, go for single unders and do twice as many for each round. It's not complex, but it's not easy tutorials for all of these moves on the channel so check out the previous videos if you need to now for the rules the calf crusher is a ladder workout which means that for each round we're going to add 10 reps and the aim is to climb to the top of that ladder as quickly as you can without making too many errors because every time you make an error you're to penalize yourself so there's a one rep penalty for any time that I mess up. I actually haven't done this sequence before myself, so it'll be a first for me. Uh, I'll see how it goes. It seems quite doable, but you never know. We're gonna have 30 seconds maximum rest between the rounds. We don't wanna rest too long. We wanna keep this high intensity. You're welcome to take five seconds if you want to. The, the aim is to try and get as quick a time as possible, and then you can work on beating your times in future workouts. Again, the sequence, 10 boxes, followed by 10 one leg singles, followed by 10 doubles. Round one, round two, 20 boxes, 21 leg singles, 20 double unders. Round three, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, five rounds. I'm done talking. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I'm gonna get straight into it and we're gonna see how we do. I didn't feel too bad, I'm gonna try and save time by going straight into the next one, so round two. Starting to feel it a bit now. Take the top off because we mean business. Let's keep going.
I need this rest now. It's gonna take about 10 seconds and get back into it. You wanna keep it intense, keep climbing up that ladder. Remember, you're against the clock. The only competition is yourself. You're not competing with other people's times, by the way. Okay, four, run four. Four done. Oh my word, my calves are on fire. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm a bit busy trying to catch my breath. Oh, my calves are, are bulging right now. All right, 10 seconds more, and we're going for that glorious 50th. I'm quite happy I haven't made any errors yet. Hopefully, I haven't spoken too soon. So no one rep penalties for me. <laughs> In a way, maybe this is an easier workout. Um, okay, still on the clock, we're gonna go for round five. <sighs> Stop the damn clock. <sighs> my word. Oh my word, that was not easy. Because what I'm used to doing is just kind of like a lot of free flowing, kind of moving, dancing around, just moving around with the rope, expressing myself. That's how the whole idea of rope rage came about. Um, just self-expression with the rope, you know? Doing this sort of thing, having, having a goal to reach, climbing that ladder. I'll tell you, at certain points, I literally pictured myself climbing up a golden ladder. I don't know why it was gold. Um, just climbing up to that big 50. I was a bit shaky at the beginning with the boxer step there. I uh, managed to pull it back. But happy to have got it done in the end. 
So that's it. That's a wrap. That's the calf crusher. Be sure to have a go. Um, you know, you can calibrate it according to your level. If you're not quite comfortable with the doubles, you can just go to singles, twice as many though. So for round one, instead of 10 doubles, you'd do 20 singles. For round two, instead of 20 doubles, you'd do 40 singles. Three, instead of 30, you'd do 60 singles and so on. Be sure to give that a go. Time yourself, give yourself a constraint that helps you to, to have a target to aim for, okay? If you don't put constraints on yourself, you'll go too easy on yourself. So time yourself, try and beat your times. This is the first time I've ever done this um, structured sequence and I don't know my time as yet, but you can see it down there on the timer. So let me know how you get on. Please do try it, put your times down below. Let me know whether you went for the singles at the end or you just went flat out for the double unders. Either way, it's a super tough workout. It's so much pressure on the calf muscles, especially when you're putting in single leg jumps right in the middle there. You're, you've got your whole body weight on one set of calf muscles on one leg. And the double unders goes without saying, um, really exploding off the ground pushing through the calf to get up there and to keep keep that rhythm going throughout the reps all the way up uh, the rounds and getting up to 50. Fatigue sets in also because the double under is very demanding on, on, the, on the cardiovascular aspect. <laughs> I can't even speak right. If you found the video helpful, if you liked the video, please do drop a like down below. If you want to see future videos like this, future body uh, parts or muscle groups to work on, drop them down below. I'll conjure something up in my crazy little mind and we'll get that going. Um, and of course, of course, of course, you guys have been wicked with the likes and the comments recently, by the way. I really appreciate it. It helps me to keep drumming these videos out um, and having little conversations with you in the comments section is awesome as well. So. I really, I really can't ask for better. Um, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe for more videos like this. We've got a bunch of tutorials coming out also, as well as a few more of these follow along style workouts. <laughs> I can't breathe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch a video. And as always, all the best with your, all the best with your training and stay raging. <laughs>